Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix unexpected client behavior Roblox. So there's gonna be a very easy one and a very fast one. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do here is we first want to clean up our PC and basically uninstall Roblox. So here, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your Windows search here and just basically search for run. So it's going to be R-U-N in your search here. Just type it and you'll be able to see the run application. Then from here, you want to open up the following location. So it's going to be percentage local app data percentage. So just type it here and just click on OK. And it's going to open up a folder on your uh, screen here. Now here in the local folder, we want to look for the Roblox folder. So here, this is going to be the location where Roblox should be. So here, this is the Roblox folder. Just right click on it and from here, you just basically want to delete this one. So once you've deleted Roblox, we want to now go to our settings. So just click on the Windows icon here again and just click on the settings. Under settings, you want to go to apps. And under apps, you want to look for the Roblox player. So it's going to be at the very bottom or at the uh, R section of, from your installation or app section here. So let's just search for it. So here, as you can see, this is the Roblox player. Just click on it and click on uninstall. So once you've uninstalled Roblox, you want to go ahead and go to roblox.com and basically log in into your account. So once you've logged in, just click on the any game that you see on your screen here and just basically play it on your machine. So once you play it, it's going to actually start the reinstallation process on Roblox. You just need to follow the on-screen steps that you'll be able to see on your PC or on your laptop and that would actually basically install Roblox again. Once you've reinstalled Roblox, the Roblox player will again appear on your PC here. Just right click on it and from here you want to go to properties. In here, we want to change a few things on our Roblox application. So let's go to compatibility. Under compatibility, we want to enable a few settings. So here, enable the run this program as administrator by adding a check next to the checkbox here. And also enable the disable full screen optimizations. In here, we want to also enable the run this program in compatibility mode 4 and just put a checkbox check next to the checkbox on it and from here choose windows 7 if you haven't cho haven't chosen windows 7 again and from here just click on run compatibility troubleshooter from here it's going to detect issues and fix any uh, resolve any issues that we may be may be encountering on our application so here just click on try recommended settings and just click on test the program then from here it's going to ask further uh, permissions just click on yes and from here let this finish up loading so once it's finished up just click on ok just click on next and just click on yes save the settings for this program then from here just click on close click on apply and click on ok so once you've done all of those steps you could go ahead and just put up any game that you see on your screen here and that hopefully fixes your issue so hopefully this video was able to help you and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.